one of the questions I get is how much is it going to cost to have my dog trained to be a gun dog depends what you want whether you want a competition dog whether you want the basics put into the dog or when we talk about advanced that you could shoot over the dog we do different stages I used to do 10 weeks for basics 20 weeks for advanced but it was putting too much pressure on some of the dogs some of the dogs weren't ready they were too young people were wanting to get them trained as fast as possible it's all down to money I totally understand but it takes time to train a gun dog to a high standard it takes two years before that dog you can class it as a fully trained working dog and if anybody enters trials with dogs at 12 months old and they start winning then I wouldn't even follow them because the average age is between 18 months and three years of age for that winning dog of some quality just because you win a novice stake it doesn't mean you're ready for open stakes but it should do in reality because the judges should be looking for a dog that they could put through comfortably and run in open stakes of an open standard. So a novice field trial winner should be of an open standard, else they shouldn't have put that dog through. Unfortunately, a lot of judges don't have a clue, and they put dogs through that would no way on this earth stand any chance of winning an open stake. That lowers the standard. The idea is, do you want a shooting dog or do you want a performing monkey? We can produce performing monkeys for you, or we can produce good quality working dogs. If you leave me a puppy to train for you from day one, I can't do too much with that dog for the first 12 months. It's as simple as that, because I want the dog to develop and just get a, a good foundation of what I want it to be for the first 12 months. Then I start really putting in the serious training. It doesn't mean you leave the puppy in the kennel and do nothing with it. But it means you keep it to the basics so the dog loves the basics. The more you give the dog, the more entertainment you give the dog, the more freedom you give the dog, the bigger problem you have when you come to train these dogs. Many people ring me up and say, I've got a dog here, I need it training. And when I see it, it's doing so many things wrong, it's unbelievable. And so that takes longer to get the problems out of the dog than to just have a raw recruit that is ready at 12 months of age. But you've built the foundation and you've not taken it hunting too soon and you've not ignored the retrieving and you've not messed it up. If you start to mess these dogs up, that's when you need a professional to give you some help. But the problem is out there on the internet, there's so many people giving advice on these gun dog forums. There is so many so-called trainers when they're not trainers, they've had a couple of dogs. They may have had success with one or two. And at the end of the day, they think they know it all. The problem is all dogs are different and all dogs develop at different stages and it's easy to follow a format that works but what happens when it doesn't work what the books don't tell you what to do when it all goes wrong because you've got a dog of a particular genetics or you're trying to get a labrador to be a hunting dog compared to a spaniel it doesn't mean you can't get a labrador to be a hunting dog but it's like saying I bought myself a Robin Reliant and I want to go racing. It's completely two different things, isn't it? These Spaniels are bred to hunt. The biggest problem I see is people want to rush their dogs and get them out on a shoot too soon. You've got to put your groundwork in. You've got to put your foundation in and build it strong in a situation where you can get after the dog if you have to. You want a dog with drive and desire. You don't want to destroy that. But don't rush, don't take the dog on the shoot too soon. You'll only ruin it, it's as simple as that. It takes time to develop that real skill that you want with your dog.